What is Folding Folders? Is that a good intro? I also thought of, um, what was it? What is up, Mountain and Valley Folds? No, I think, I, I personally like the first one better. But anyway, book review number two, we have, of course, Satoshi Kimiya's Origami Works by Satoshi Kimiya 3. And I'm going to cherish this book like I cherish and worship Lover. It is so rare. Um, and before I even start, I'm, guys, I'm just going to have to flex again. I have the book and I have it signed by the man himself. Sorry, I had to get that out of the road. Anyway, this is probably the most anticipated book that has been released along with Shuka Kato's Nature Study. Um, I think they're both on the same level. Maybe Shuka Kato's was a bit more anticipated, more requested, but I would say they're both about the exact same. Anyway, we have Works of Satoshi Kimura 3. Now, the thing with this one is, everybody was wanting a third book by Kimura. Every single folder that had the first two wanted a third one, and I think, in a way, that put a bit of pressure on Kimura if he like, heard the, all the hype on this book. And the thing is, it probably put pressure on him to design new models, but when everyone later realised that all the models in this book are not new. Yes, they are not new. All the models in this book have, have basically been diagrammed or published in other books. So it's just a matter of taking those diagrams and putting them in one book. And I'm guessing a lot of people were annoyed because they aren't new models. And everyone's expecting, oh, Kimi is going to release a new book. There's going to be... 20 brand new models unseen in there, and there's not. And I think people were expecting like the Water 2.6 to have some sort of diagram or pre-crease guide or something in this, but sadly it isn't. So we're going to flick through. First of all, uh, I'm going to try and think of a few things. What, what did I write down last night? Oh yeah, so the book cover, really nice, solid, flexible paper, and that's just the outer wrap. So of course, if I can take this off, we have just plain white. So on the paper is what's well, sort of hard cardboard. And that's stuck, so I'm gonna do that. And then just the initial quite thick as well. So I'm asking everyone that's watching, if you cut off this bit of paper and cut a square, what would you make out of it? As sort of thickish, so there's your f models are limited to what you would make, but I'd personally just do a crane, keep it really simple, put it in a glass box, display it so it's floating in midair in a tight, super thin wires or threads holding up, something like that. But anyway, just stock paper on the outside, and we have a really nice, as he always does it. Nice black a model, the crease pattern, the works of Satoshi Kimiya. I don't know, I have a clue what these say. Um, I love origami, don't know what that says. If anyone that speaks can translate, it would be awesome. Again, we have things down here as well. And of course, on the back, Origami House Garage Book Series 15. And then the same here Design and Diagram by Satoshi Kimiya. Editor Makato Yamaguchi, translator Ryachi Tetsuyuchi. I don't know if I pronounced that correct, but anyway. Origami House and 4000 EN, I think. I don't know. Anyway, the cover is real nice. It's a flexible material. Probably a plastic type. Maybe, maybe paper coated in a plastic layer. I don't know. Let's put this back together. Models. Oh, if you haven't seen the video where Satoshi Kimiya signed this book, it's on the screen right now. Make sure to check it out. Thank you, boys, for filming that. 
Okay, and so the models we have are his rooster, his penguin chick, we have his loggerhead sea turtle, his angel fish, his manta ray, and his spinosaurus. I, th I really want to do this again. I did this fold years ago with blue paper, and then I painted it, and the paint job is crap, so I really need to do it again. Get a proper fold out of it. We have his. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Dino Chus. Oh, that's such a bad pronunciation. Europe Tourists. We have his horse and his tiger, which is a super fun model to fold. I've never made a horse before. Oh, I think I should actually. That paper is really nice as well. We have his butterfly, his long head locust. It's Praying Madness, which is a super fun model. I gave the base of this in a giveaway to Donnie. So, Donnie, I hope you did this model proud. Dragonfly. I may actually do it again. I, re I really need another Madness. And we have the Zero Fate. And then we have the Forward, probably a bit of about the book. Models were designed in the period of 2001 to 2018. A lot of work is in this book. And then we have the contents. Just gives you the what is all happening. We have symbols and techniques, as all books do. And again the paper for the pages is really nice, really firm and flexible in a way. Now uh, someone commented on the last video saying the book was hard to open which is like when you open it you want it to stay like that but when you let go it folds so it's not the greatest in that way maybe it's the material no it's not it's the, it's the strength of the paper so like normally when I would fold uh, you'd have the book here and then like a weight here and a weight here so it holds it down or I really need, probably need, it's probably good to invest in a stand. I've, I'm not sure what they would call it, paper stand, book stands, book reader stands maybe, where you can place it in and then hold it so it, it keeps upright for you and it keeps open. So that's, that'd be a good investment. But anyway, it's not good when it closes right away. But maybe over time the glue will get weak and then it will stay open. So let's go back to the start. Again, we have lots of symbols. And it's good to recognise these because this is how Kimia would show it in the diagrams, whereas other designers may show it differently. So like I said that before in the last one. Learning from each designer is, is a good practice. So I'm going to look at, first of all, the first model, the penguin trick. And it's good because it gives you, first of all, the basic crease pattern. Then it gives you information on how Kimia came about to design it, what inspired him, what made him make it in a way, and then um, yeah, so it all, yeah, it also gives you the what parts of the crease pattern make it. So for instance, bottom right the tail, the leg, the top right is the flipper, and the top left is the head. So it's really nice that he does that as well. We'll look at a few more of these on harder ones just to be curious to see where it all comes from. So diagrams, if you've not already folded from Kimia, which I'm going to assume that you probably all have, then you know that the quality is amazing. He does it exceptionally well because it's hard to diagram models, which I've folded from a lot of diagrams and it's by far Kimia's is the best. And his way of doing it is unique as well. Obviously I'm not going to show all of this, but I'm going to look through a few, like open and squash the darkened areas. And as you can see, let me zoom in actually a bit clearer. As you can see we have the deck starts from here and then stops at this line here. So it, the detail is in there and even right here with the squash fold we also have the valley fold underneath as well 
and then the mountain fold on the right side and then the valley fold which is indicating on the inside on the left hand side on both sides but it's shown on the left so it's a lot of detail probably a lot of work just to draw that initial step right so i'm going to flip through a few more pages and what are we at we are at the eurypterus and again it must be difficult to diagram this because look at look at step 48 you have all these lines to think that we need to draw that in a 3d look to try and make it easier for the folder to follow and again we have all the creases and it's good when they're all in place because if you're unsure when you when you collapse you can look at the crease pattern and go right this crease goes through this point right here and then this point right here so I'm going to go to my model and look for the crease that goes through those two points and then make those creases to collapse so it's really detailed like exceptionally detailed and that's why when you put in the time and the effort you get the results so again diagrams are always clear and it's nice that it goes round in one big like snakes and ladders effect one big continuous curvy line so next you are at his horse now I really want to make this model I think I've got some sheets upstairs. Go back to this. Right. Go to this Spinosaurus. A really fun model to make. And again, look at the crease button here. So this was created in 2010. So the tail is at the bottom, the hind leg, foreleg, and the head. So it's another really unique model. Yeah, really good information. It's really nice to read this. Just to get inside the head of Satoshi Kimia, our god, our saviour, my dad. And really nice. It's so long since I've made this model. And then what you're at the tiger. Really fun model as well. Quite tricky to get the correct colours. Also have it not too thick. My paper was a bit thick. Everything is fine except the head, which I don't like. But I'm super happy with the results anyway. So if you've got the first two, the books, and the ports of stuff me one and two, I don't have but I will be getting, then make sure that you get this because from what I've folded from those in the past, the diagrams exceed as well and they are equivalent. So little details like this, squash the tip and flatten. So I mean it's quite tricky to actually show that. And then this one as well. So the detailed like really tiny things like this that are all the way hidden inside here. I'm pretty sure designers, other designers or diagrammers wouldn't really want to do that. So the fact that he does that goes that extra mile really good and let's look at a dragon so trying to diagram a box plate model is must be the hardest because it's probably the most 3d visual and time consuming model in the book or any box plate model because they have very 3d like for instance this picture right here we have the paper going up to the right, we have Kimia showing the layers on the left, we have what we have to do here, and then we have the shadows as well, so it's a lot of 3D work and drawing goes into this, and it shows that he cares, he wants to get the best result. Wait, I don't think it's Kimia that does it. Is it Kimia that draws it? I should have read that stuff somewhere. Yeah, yeah, diagrams, editor, yeah, I think that's Kimia that draws draw them, either way, and that's madness, really fun model to make as well, and again, really clear diagrams, that 
que nós. So that is it. Really fantastic, sturdy book with lots of models. So if you want to get your hand on this, make sure to do it. Support Kamiya. The more he makes, the more chance you'll get a new book, new diagrams, new models, etc. So everyone, thank you so much for watching and 